What's up everybody? So we were doing the 100 envelope challenge to save up for a cruise to the Bahamas. And what happened was I ended up reaching my goal before I finished the challenge. And to be honest, it was a pain in the ass driving to the bank every day and getting cash. So what I have here is how far I made it. And what we're going to do is we're going to de-envelope these and we're going to see how much we ended up saving. I think it was close to 50 days, about halfway. So we're going to go ahead and see what we got here. It's going to take a minute. There's 50. There's 25. It's going to be... Uh, Interesting, putting all the money separate. It was uh, 78. There's a 38. Now this is this is a really good way for you to save money. Um, it, you know, if I hadn't got the money, I would have continued to keep doing it, and then I would have reached my goal. But I had already had the money. And I needed to book the cruise because we wanted to get it scheduled. Pushing kind of the end of May, the beginning of June, and that's kind of where hurricane season was starting. And so I really just wanted to um, get the cruise scheduled. So I took the money that I had in my bank account from taxes and I scheduled the cruise. But I highly recommend this if anybody is trying to save up money and they don't get a lump sum of money and just continually do this. I mean, even if you don't have to, you know, raise 5000 you know, I'm, I'm half interested to see um, the, the, the 50, um, 50 envelopes would be 2500 bucks. I think. I would assume. And so, if you're trying to raise up like two grand, man, just just take like 50, 40, 50 envelopes, mark one through 40, and put it in there. But the, the shitty thing is, is getting the cash, because who carries cash anymore these days? So, I think, honestly, like, the, the best thing to do would be maybe just, um have a way you could transfer it out of your bank account into something else and then just do that every day like maybe write one to whatever number your desired amount is and then just each day go on there and transfer money to your bank account because it's a pain in the ass going to the bank um, all the time especially for somebody who doesn't carry cash it's a pain in the ass. You know, I've got two kids. I had a lot of crap going on, full-time job. I'm going to stop at the damn bank every day and get cash. It was a pain in the ass. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely um, doable doing the cash. But I think, honestly, putting the money into, like, an account. But you'd have to do it, like... You know, knowing that you can't touch the money that you're transferring. You just, you'd have to to just transfer it and, and just know that it's gone. If you're going to do it that way. Kind of like, you know, with the envelopes, I could spend it. it you know, it was just sitting here in my uh, apartment um, above my fridge. Damn, we are not even halfway done, and we've got a fat stack of cash already. I mean, that's just an idea of, of, of how much cash I had to go get from the bank. And that we're not even halfway done. Um, we've still got a shit ton of envelopes left, so we're just going to keep opening them up. And then afterwards, we are going to separate the money, and then we're going to see how much we have. Because now, I actually did book the cruise. We are leaving May 19th, and we are flying to Florida. And then we are going to get on the cruise. It's a Royal Caribbean. And we will go to 
Labadee Haiti for the first day. We will spend two days on the ocean, not in a row. We will go to Haiti, then the ocean, then Jamaica, then a day on the ocean, and then the Bahamas, and then back to Florida. Um, super excited. I've never been on a cruise, first of all, and I've also never been to that part of the world, the Western Caribbean part of the, the world. So I'm super excited. Um, gonna spend some time alone with the wife and the kids are not coming. It was really funny because when I'm booking the cruise, the guy's like, uh, kids are free. K kids come free, which I know why they they do them free but he's like the kids are free and I says nope the, the kids are not coming I already got a babysitter cleared for that whole week and I love my kids absolutely love them but they are not coming we need some alone time every parent I think needs some alone time away from their kids because let's face it raising kids is exhausting And my wife does way more of that than I do. I am at work all day, um, and her job is at home. It's just a job, but she does a lot of the raising the kids. I mean, while I'm at work, she's here all day with them. And my son, he is almost three, and you know, he's just like any other three-year-old. He's absolutely crazy right now just for an example i'll show you all his toys and decide to throw them in our kitchen this is what goes on a uh almost three-year-old's mind he's just absolutely adorable though we love him jordan jump 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 he's he's uh He's a good kid. No, this is our stack of cash already. That's that's a pretty big stack of cash. I don't know how much is gonna be here. So we're gonna we're gonna keep opening these envelopes and then we're gonna count it out. We're gonna see how much we ended up saving. What? So anyway, um, I've got everything planned out for the cruise. It ended up costing $4,800 for everything. That was including airfare. So go play. Go play, bud. That was including airfare to and from Florida. That is including all of the attractions in Haiti, Jamaica, the Bahamas, all of it. That's including everything. That isn't including shopping in Haiti, shopping in Jamaica, and just anything else. So that's where the extra $700 that I'm taking is going to come in handy. Because we're going to want to buy stuff in Haiti. I want to buy some souvenirs and Got to get some souvenirs for the kids, and got to get some souvenirs that we can uh, hang on our on our walls and cool stuff like that. So that's where the I'm taking a little bit of extra money there. All the tips are already paid for. I've got um, extra meals booked, fancy restaurants, five star restaurants. Um, all included beverages. I mean, the thing is, is I've never been on a cruise. So, you think, oh, well, a cruise says it's only, you know, two grand. Well, that, that includes a cruise. You could go on a cruise for that price. But, what they don't tell you is there's a lot of extra fees to it. You've got the Wi-Fi. You've got soda. Uh, I bought all of the drink packages where you could get 
sodas, coffee, 23 different espressos, you know, milkshakes, uh, non-alcoholic drinks. I got the works. I also got the VIP package where they come and they take my luggage up to my room and I get uh, first class boarding so I don't have to wait in the line on anybody who doesn't have the VIP. So right when I get to the cruise, we'll be able to, to have a pretty short line to get up into our room and get our luggage brought up to us. We also get uh, a free show. Ooh, that reminds me, I actually gotta go check and see if the shows are up yet because they're not up yet, but there's going to be live entertainment on the ship. And I do have one free show Included with the VIP. I also had uh, a couple free dinner or a couple free meals. I think it was lunch at the five-star restaurant. And a couple other really cool things that came with the VIP package as well. So, we are down to like our last um, four or five envelopes. That, that was a lot, actually. I, I think I made it to halfway. If I do remember correctly, I think I made it to about um, day 50. So, um, we're about 50 envelopes. <sighs> My finger's starting to get sore. We're about 50 envelopes in is where we were. So, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be about two grand. Because some of them were lower numbers, but some of them were higher numbers. So it'll be interesting to see how much is here. We have three left. Then comes the sorting of the bills because that is going to suck because there's a lot of different bills I have in here. You got ones, five, tens, twenties. It's going to be a interesting to see how long it takes me to sort these. Oh, there's the, there's the hunter right there. That, that's, there's the hundo, the hundred dollar bill. Okay, let's see here. Let's, so let's separate them. This is going to be, um, interesting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make, um, piles. We're going to do twenties. We're gonna do ones. All right, let's see. Ones, fives, tens, twenties. Yeah. So pretty much at this point, we're just gonna have to separate it out and then see where we're at. Now, of course, I have uh, OCD and they all have to be facing the same way whenever I have money even if it's in my wallet or anything in fact most of these are facing the same way from when I put them away they all have to be facing the same direction the good thing is is they are separated already they are all facing the same way because I do have that OCD and I already Put them all facing the same way when I put them away. So all I gotta do is just go through. And my daughter's in the other room I'm getting crazy. She's gonna be one sassy little girl. Okay. That is one tiny, tiny stack of this money. We're looking at a lot, a lot of cash. Okay. Now they're upside down. That's interesting. I must have flipped them, but they're all still the same way. So all I gotta do is just separate them. I know there's a lot of ones because 
I got a shit ton of ones when I was getting ready to do this. All right, we're actually going pretty fast. It's going pretty fast because I already had them all go in the same way. So I literally just got to go through, separate them out. I'd say we're about halfway there. We'll count this out and see how much we ended up saving. Alright. So yeah, shit ton of ones. That's about that's about how much I got left, so we're almost there. Oh yeah, shit ton of ones. Well, that's a, that's a good one. That's like 200 bucks right there. Jordan, what? Where's your deal? Why do you keep playing in your sister's toys, bro? Come on, dog. Okay. We are... We are finished. Now, that I have it separated out, we're going to count it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 89, 80, and 20. Let me get a pen so I can write this down. So we got $980 in 20s. We got $100 in $100 bills. Okay. Let's see how much we got. We got 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 280 in tens. 280 in tens. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that right there. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 
We got 170 in fives. And we're going to count this the old fashioned way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty six, thirty seven. 38, 39, 40, 41, 70. No, no, leave the money alone. Leave the money alone. Leave the money alone. I've got it stacked all nicely. Go play with your toys, please. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 120 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 we got 136 in ones okay let's add this up We got six, ten, eighteen, twenty-six, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One thousand six hundred and sixty-six dollars saved up. That's weird. That it came out to that number. I must have counted wrong. We'll just go ahead and say $1,667. Or I'm going to take one away because that's freaking weird. Anyway. Here is. All the money I saved up from the 100 envelope challenge. Not bad, you know, 50 days, it was, it was tough, but I ended up saving all that. Wish they were all hunters. That'd be dope. These are all hundos. One day, baby, one day. One day they'll all be hunters. Look at that. We'll be able to do that. Be hunters. Anyway, I'll keep you updated on the cruise. I'm out.